Another question from Don, I think Don's in the chat room as well, asked, uh, can all port types like IEEE 1394 FireWire and those types of things, can they all be tested with loopback plugs? Um, and that's a, a pretty good question because when we talk about loopback plugs, especially in the networking piece uh, of the Network Plus, it may also be in the A Plus now. I need to look at my exam requirements myself. Loopback plugs can be really useful. Like on an Ethernet port, you can use a loopback plug so that everything you send out of the Ethernet port will come back in the Ethernet port. So if you're doing some diagnoses, you want to have a program that sends information out and then examines what it receives, that's a great way to test the port that's on Ethernet. We also see this a lot with WAN connections. Wide area networks, you're all, almost always dealing with a third party. And if you've ever had to troubleshoot a network connection with a third party, it becomes a bit of a challenge because you're saying it doesn't work. You can say your stream is slow. <laughs> this, this stream is broken. And the third party will say, well, it looks fine on my side. They actually works like this. They type on the keyboard. Nope, looks fine here. You're good. No, no errors. Thanks for calling. Goodbye. So what we have with wide area networks is we have the ability to set up loopbacks. So we will loop back the connection on your site. Everything coming into your site, send it back out again. And the provider can bring the link down and run tests to see if everything they send to your site comes back perfectly clean without any errors. So we're doing loopbacks all the time with wide area network. And with WANs, you can loop back at different sections. So if you get errors, you can loop back differently to see what the differences are with that. Now, some ports don't lend themselves well to loopbacks. I don't even know if there is. There probably is in some diagnostics equipment somewhere a FireWire loopback plug because FireWire is effectively a serial type connection. Uh, but I don't know anybody that is running one. In most cases, you don't need one for FireWire because it's such a, a local type connectivity. So generally, you don't see those for other types of ports. In some cases, you may not even have the option. I don't even know if there would be one. Somebody will probably send me an email after this and go, you dummy, there's a, a loopback plug for FireWire right here, and it's inexpensive. But you just generally don't need to run them very often because there's usually one device you're plugging into FireWire, and you can see if it's connected or not. There's plenty of diagnostics built right into it. It's those third-party connections you should always be concerned about, or maybe local connections on Ethernet that tend to be your biggest problems. And that's exactly when you would use a loopback plug.